the, the development of, of an airplane is really a packaging problem. It's the same problem that the supermarket has and how many pork chops can you put in the package. But in packaging an airplane, particularly a supersonic airplane, they have to be packaged and arranged in such a way that you don't compromise the supersonic drag. And in, and in that, the components have to be arranged so that the volume buildup of the airplane is smooth. And that's why the lines have to be smooth. RCS design is the same way. Uh, radar loves a flat plate or a sharp edge because it bounces off that flat plate just like the glint on a windshield right back in your eyes and the radar instantly sees that return or a sharp edge. So we want to avoid or at least minimize the number of sharp edges and take all the curvatures and make them very gradual and very blended in such a way that any radar energy will strike the skin move gradually over the skin and be absorbed at the other side of the airplane. So taking these concepts of, of the smooth blending and the fact that you have two humongous engines and a weapons bay which has to hold many missiles but can't have, hold them outside because the missile will have as much radar cross section as the airplane itself. So you have to put the missiles inside then the engines have to go somewhere, the inlets have to go on one side or the other and there's a competition for space. You try all of these different combinations until you find just the right combination or compromise that makes it work. RCS is a short version of radar cross section. A, how does that, what is, what is it, how does it work? In, it, in radar cross section is an equivalent area seen by some kind of radar for this particular object you are trying to detect, acquire. And just equivalent area, you know, it's defined by square meters. And the electromagnetic waves, as I described at the very beginning, is a radio waves right. and cover all the frequencies from acoustic to UV. So we are talking about AM, FM, in the radio, VHF, UHF, it's a very tiny portion of the frequency spectrum. Sometimes we call it DC to daylight. 